Hey there, I'm Mark Lohman, Director of Engineering, NextGen Technologies at Sophos. Some endpoint security software have evolved significantly over the last years, but sadly the methods to verify their effectiveness hasn't. The best security products don't only look out for malicious executables, but instead look out for what we call the nasty nine. One or more of these nine are involved in the many stages of the so-called cyber attack kill chain. Stopping them will prevent threat delivery, software exploitation, malware installation and command and control to actions on the objective like malicious data encryption for ransom, like ransomware. If you, as a tester, leave out, for example, the delivery of crafted or weaponized content, installation of malware, software exploitation and or actions on the objectives, well, what are you testing? One thing is for sure, you are not testing the effectiveness of the security product as you have manually bypassed most of its threat prevention features. And if the test machine has no documents, photos or other intellectual property for ransomware, for example, to encrypt, the security product has no data to defend either. A good example is this case. Tech Helplist did a quick test of Sophos Endpoint Advanced with Intercept X and threw a fresh executable of a ransomware sample called Server on it. It didn't went as expected and others on Twitter were disappointed too. Who wouldn't, right? Tech Helpless supplied the link to the ransomware, so I thought to redo his test to show everybody what went wrong and why. To make it interesting, I am going to do this test with an outdated version of our product. It's three weeks old. This to show you it's not based on signatures and that it doesn't need prior knowledge of today's ransomware attacks to provide protection. As you can see, if Tech Helplist would have downloaded the file on the protected endpoint itself, it would not have succeeded, even if the security product is three weeks old. Let's disable the web security features and see what happens next. The download has a low reputation, meaning in a business environment, it's not allowed to run. But if for argument's sake, let's trust this file. As you can see, the downloaded file has no file extension, meaning the URL is likely used in a malicious script or exploit attack during the delivery phase of the original attack. Let me add the extension so I can run it. Oh no, ransomware on the machine, like what happened on Tech Helpless machine. Fortunately, even though server says that all data is encrypted, there's actually nothing encrypted. Most ransomware skip the default Windows sample images, and since this is a clean Windows installation, there's nothing else on the machine to encrypt. No data is lost. Let's do this again, but now with some data on the machine, like in the real world. Let me just copy the sample pictures to the desktop. If you run the malware now, the anti-ransomware module actually has something to defend. It steps in, blocks the attack and recovers the encrypted data. No data lost even though there are ransom notes in the attack folder. Tech Helpless redid his test as well, as you can see, now with data on the machine and now also with the expected result. Nothing lost. If you look for them, it's fairly easy to get malware samples on the web and throw them on an endpoint for quick tests. But if you do it like Tech Helpless, you are deliberately bypassing major prevention features of a security product, meaning you are not testing the product at all. PCs don't get magically infected. Malicious file or in-memory code is delivered somehow by a spam email, script attachment or other weaponized document through a software exploit in a web page or in malicious ads. And if you are an IT professional, your end users or customers work with data. So make sure there are office documents, PDFs and images on the machine like in the real world. Don't you agree? The following few minutes show you how you can use, for example, the malware traffic analysis website to test the security product. Bottom line is that if you use the provided samples there, don't just download the malware payload or artifact. Make sure you know how to replay the provided traffic using Fiddler or through the provided spam emails, so you replay the entire kill chain as how it happened in the real world. It's not magic, but does require a bit more work than just throwing an executable around. We continuously put a lot of time and effort into making the internet safer. So we hope you spend at least a little bit more time and don't drop an executable in a virtual environment with a clean Windows installation.
Nobody in the world has no or just one document on its machine. Attackers know this too, which is why they don't encrypt the default Windows images either, as they are always there in it, for example, malware reverse a sandbox, which is why they often skip those files. And with Sophos Intercept X, you also get insight in how attacks took place thanks to its root cause analysis capabilities. It shows you each individual step that, for example, a ransomware attack took before it was stopped by the security product. It also includes the attack origin, like in this case it started with a malicious email attachment the end user or victim interacted with. So now you also know who in your organization can use some additional training. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly on Twitter through at Mark Lohman. And if you want to check out our signatureless security product, just visit suffolks.com slash intercept dash X. See you next time.